Hello again, pilots! I'm happy to have you here for our second devlog episode, and hopefully you're happy too because we've got exciting things to talk about. Also, for anyone who wasn't here for our previous video, keep in mind that some of these features are in the early stages of development. They might change or even get abandoned. Before we start, a quick recap of features we've covered in our first episode and managed to release already. The 2 vs 2 deathmatch was arguably the biggest one, and we're fairly pleased with how it went down. From what you guys have been telling us, it seems like the battles feel quicker and more dynamic than some of the other game modes, which is what we're really going for. As for bots, uh, yeah, we've seen the feedback too and they need further tweaking, so we'll be looking to make some improvements in the future, but probably after the global launch. The new events also worked out pretty well. While finding the perfect balance between challenges and rewards is a work in progress, we'll keep working on this and rolling out different challenge types, so keep your eyes open. Let's start with the big guns, shall we? There are several new game modes in development already, and the first one is a massive free-for-all deathmatch. 10 mechs enter the arena, one mech leaves. It's going to be a mid-grinder, and we're hoping it's going to be as fun as it sounds. Here's what we have planned right now. 10 mechs spawn on the map in random locations, though not totally random. We're working on making sure you spawn in places that won't get you blown to bits before you can say ouch. Once everybody on the field, though, the objectives are easy enough. Whoever gets the most kills is our winning warrior. There will be a time limit in place, so matches don't go too long, but we also have another factor cutting the lens of the game. Try not to blow up too fast in our little Thunderdome. Because this sounds like the kind of scuffle experienced players would enjoy more than newbies who barely know the ropes, we probably make the mode accessible a bit later in the game. On the bright side, there might be some juicy rewards involved. The second game mode is something that's been requested for a while. Pilot, remember when you asked for this after our last video? So, this one's for you. Introducing Custom Battle. It will allow you to make game lobby for your friends, choose the battle mode and map you're playing on, add bots and so on. In essence, Custom Battle will resemble a big old sandbox and we hope you guys will go crazy when it drops. Play with or against your friends, settle rivalries, organize your tournaments or challenges for the daredevils who care to triumph against all the odds and stream them for all the other players to see. Sky is the limit. To that end, we'll try to make custom battle, well, as customizable as we possibly can. Of course, there's no way we can balance that kind of game and we'll have to keep that battles unranked and without any rewards to avoid potential abuse. I should say, this game mode is still in the early concept phase and we won't be ready to reveal more for a while yet. Right? Move on. Next, let's talk small guns. Actual guns. You might remember we mentioned a certain disc launcher last time. That's our temporary name for a new weapon in development. Unfortunately, things didn't work out quite as planned and the release has been delayed. Playtesting showed that the original concept was neither as fun to use as we had hoped, nor particularly unique when compared to other weapons. So we scrapped it and started from scratch. And though we are still smoothing it out, the new disc launcher looks better already. So far we have a gun that relies on accuracy and splash damage to bring the pain. Take a look for yourself. We'll keep testing and improving the launcher, and hopefully there will be more to show in the coming weeks. Next up, a brand new mech. Check this spider bro out. And it's not coming alone either. There are little spider tarts that you can drop off with its ability. How cool is that? Now, as you probably guessed, we plan this to be a support mech that can help defend beacons, block specific checkpoints of the map, or support your allies with suppressive fire. Give those scouts a nasty surprise when they try to sneak behind your team's lines. It won't be long until you see this new addition to the roster, so watch out for news. On top of all that, we're putting a lot of effort into game optimization before the global launch. We want you guys to have zero issues when the new players arrive, and to make sure everyone gets a fun, smooth experience. There is also a slew of quality of life improvements to look forward to. Weekly challenges, long-term events, UI and map design improvements, you name it. Oh, and we do want to expand the weapons arsenal substantially. There is not too much to show you right now, but we have a ton of inspiration. Our first thoughts include some kind of grenade launchers, maybe a different type of artillery. We will see where it all goes and hope to bring you good news soon. And that's it for today's vlog. We hope you enjoyed this little taste of things to come and we look forward to seeing your comments and suggestions down below. As always, let us know if there is anything specific you'd like us to cover in the future. Hit like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode. On the brighter side, there might be... 10 max enter the... A gun that relies on accuracy and splash damage to bring the pain.
pain. Look in my eyes, I have a lot of pain there. And I hope to bring you good news soon.